What's good, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Life at Sea, season number four. I am presently on the bridge. We are in the port of Ningbo in China, and I am preparing the next passage to another Chinese port. But this time we are facing a huge problem between uh, our route from Ningbo all the way to Nansha, which is the next port. Now I have reset my counters. It is. 000 on the water log manual counter 000 gps 000 i have i will start preparing the bridge for the next uh, for the departure paperwork going on and i'm monitoring that computer because something very scary is happening now have a look at the map over here 1 2 3 three red circular motions you see Now these are tropical revolving storms. Our ship is presently over here in the Ningbo port and this particular typhoon typhoon Haikui is going to be right in the middle of our passage. Do you see this uh, orange dotted line? Let me zoom in. Or uh, first let me show you all the route. Okay. So from here we depart this yellow line orange line following this this is our next port this port already nancha has is facing a huge storm now let me put back the areas so you see we are right in the middle of uh not right in the middle right now but our route is right in the middle of these storms ha guys believe me This is not a very good position to be at, especially uh, for the captain to make a decision. Even the satellites, inversats are uh, sending us uh, cyclone warnings. So yeah, this is serious business, and there is so much paper that is being printed because of these warnings that my printer has run out. So generally, it becomes like this. So I'm going to change it. Pilot has left, and now we start our journey for the next port, which is in between the stops. Okay, this is how color change of a river passage to a ocean passage looks. Light blue to dark blue. successfully out of the river passage let me show you where we are on the actus and this is yeah this is our sector right now vhfs uh, we are monitoring the various sectors so yes as you all see river passage ended here now we took a turn and joined this public corridor luckily not many fishing boats only a few uh, Big ships, which we'll overtake, and yeah, uh, let's show you all what the situation of the storm is right now. So, guys, this is the latest forecast we received from our weather services. Now, the storm was uh, going like this before. Now it is going perpendicular to Taiwan. Our route is from here. So, let's see the route overview. And as you all see, the storm is 
yeah it is we are, we are actually targeting that we reach this destination this area waypoint number 19 uh, on 2nd september so we that time the storm will be here and we will be sheltered but anyhow this storm is also cleared today it's in the port of nancha where we are going so till the time we reach here it will already dissipate and get uh, over so you all see one uh, thing whenever the storm reaches the land it loses its strength so you see so much strength right now and in next 6 12 14 hours it hits the land and then it dissolves into the ocean back again anyhow guys we have prepared the ship for the worst that means we have covered our heavy weather checklist everything is secured all the cargo is secured and we are continuously monitoring what is going to happen my assumption is that we will pass clear but we can never assume anything on on the high sea anything can happen any moment so yeah wind speed has started increasing it is going to 20 25 knots this coming from the stern which is good our speed is very very good and we require that to avoid this uh, storm let's go outside and check what the temperature is like so yeah first you can see you can see all the white horses forming you know good part is the fishing boats are gone so i'm very 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 happy and the temperature is also dropped to 30 that's good also yeah one more thing check the barometer pressure pressure 1005 so yeah when it goes below 1000 that means something is not good as you all see the wind has picked up and the waves are also forming now uh, i'll zoom into it you can see these white horses and things forming yes whenever the storm starts approaching us everything becomes you know uh, very intense out here at sea on the ship also outside the ship also in the mind also some kind of this eerie feeling is there you know when you see all these dark waters and things you know that you are at the mercy of nature that's it So ladies and gentlemen, it's the next day, we are uh, in the Taiwan Strait but the wind has picked up significantly, it has become 33 knots, uh, outside you can see it's become over clouds, cloudy, hazy, rainy, we'll check the barometer pressure, what it's showing, yup, it has dropped to 1001, let's say 1001, yeah, rain, still we are okay and uh, yeah, let's see what the weather forecast is showing. We'll update the forecast to the latest. And now, our position currently is somewhere over here. So we are sheltered by the Taiwan Island. And the cyclone Haiku is just parallel to us. So this is how we are protected. I mean, God is always with us, man. So this is our big shelter. But I'll tell you what we are scared of later. And this uh other storm is actually passing away from nancha today let's do a quick uh, simulation and see what is the direction of the taiwan uh, i'll fasten the yeah so it's going to be like this wow it's going to dissipate here so yeah hopefully that will be the last taiwan last storm of this coastal and yeah so what we are scared of is exactly the part where when we exit somewhere over here somewhere here the, from the Taiwan Strait all the swell which is developing here will be coming and hitting us from the beam so whenever the swell hits us from the beam there is a chance of parametric rolling so that is why captain and I are also discussing right now what we can do to avoid that we'll change the course so that 
we take the beam uh, the swell from the stern but we still have one day to go and uh, yeah this is something we have to continuously monitor also in taiwan strait no fishing boats i mean this is like a luxury picture of the radar in this part of the area <laughs> that is why i am happy sometimes The captain just came on the bridge and discussed with me uh, something which was very interesting. It was in his experience he saw this in the next port where we are going, Nansha. You've got something known as emergency typhoon-proof anchorages. Can you see emergency typhoon-proof anchorage? And again, I'm um, typhoon-proof anchorage for DG dangerous good uh, cargo drive. Ah, uh, yeah, you understood. So this is something very interesting. It is uh, there because. There are so many islands which shelter this area, as you all see. Um, you see so many small islands behind which, if we do our anchorage, the winds uh, and all will be, you know, obstructed by these. So you can safely anchor here, and it will not drag. So guys, bad weather gone. That means time for the gym. And today I will do back ex back exercises from the machine. Uh, these lat pull down because it is safe and you know if by chance there is any roll which is it is not there but still you know just for the mind so yeah start my workout and got some basketball also here but i haven't seen a basketball court yet the next day we are at anchorage and what a beautiful place this is to be at anchor have a look at these beautiful islands all around they are also in the starboard side, we'll go there and this is the Typhoon Anchorage. Now you see so many ships are taking shelter over here because of that Typhoon, two Typhoons and you know all sorts of ships. I see Roro, bulk carriers, tankers, so all classes. Let's now, let's check where exactly we are. So, the third mate dropped the anchor. I was sleeping that time. So we are in this large vessel. Uh, let me zoom in, Typhoon Anchorage waiting area. And so many islands. So these are known as contour lines. These are basically for measurement of height. And the highest point over here is 215 meters. From the view from the oh from the port side is even more pretty. Wow. Have a look at this. Multiple islands. This is like a it's like Bali or Thailand, I don't know, like a vacation spot. <laughs> I 
and we've got island in front as well. Let me zoom in. So guys, this is the beauty of being a seafarer. You get to see all of this while working, getting paid, and you know, it uh, refreshes you and gives you a better perspective of life that there is more to see in this world than we know. So, yeah, that's philosophy class with KSN. I will stop it now and start my anchor watch. Have a look at this beautiful sight. My God, I just had my dinner. Came out to collect my GoPro. Oh man, have a look at this. Oof, how beautiful is this? My God. Whatever said and done, however tough life at sea is, this is something which I think very less people get to witness, and I count myself blessed and lucky that you know such a spectacular thing is happening right in front of my eyes. So I also that that cloud looks like a shivling to me. So yeah, jai bole. Chilka forward holding on to 4 and 2 tight. So guys got some well deserved refreshment cookies for our next trip. And on that note I am going to close this video now. This is how we escaped the storm and we are luckily safe and alongside here in the port of Nansha. Hope you all like this video. If you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, share the video. I'll see you back from another day on the high seas.